Hello, everybody. My name is Tracy Ostrom, and I'm here to talk to you today about our microplastics five-day pacing guide uh, pilot program that we instituted last year. And I want to share a little bit about the program and how you might be able to get involved with that. So a little bit more about me. Uh, I spent the first 13 years of my career as a scientist in environmental management and then switched over to teaching uh, shortly after that and taught high school uh, chemistry, biology, environmental science. And the last eight years I've been working at UC Berkeley as a K-12 science support provider, specifically on uh, the GLOBE program. Uh, I happen to also be a PhD student at UC Davis in the science, agriculture, and math division. So let's talk a little bit about the pilot program. Uh, we instituted this pilot program at the fifth grade, seventh grade, and 11th grade level. Uh, it started out with a sink or float lab on day one, uh, some background on microplastics for day two. Uh, then on day three, we collected water and did some globe hydrosphere protocols. And day four, uh, which was the big, the big fun part, was the microplastics lab. And then on day five, it was really student driven and uh, asking them to put it all together and tell their stories about what they learned. So let's dig in a little bit deeper on each one of these days. So the sink or float lab was using different types of uh, plastics with different recycling numbers on it. It's about 45 minutes, just basically some plastic cups and water. And the students had to come up with a hypothesis or a claim whether or not they thought the piece of plastic would float or not. And what I really liked about this uh, activity is that it gave us an opportunity to analyze data. And the so all the groups did it and all the groups had an opinion as to what the plastics did. And so it was really a great way for a, a class discussion and to ha have them start asking, I wonder questions. I wonder about the water. I wonder if the water were dirty, if this would happen, or if I wonder if it were salty, if this would happen. So this was a great hook to get students started on thinking about microplastics and their behavior in the environment. On day two was really concentrated on what is a microplastic, what qualifies as microplastics. Uh, and we really tried to focus on uh, incorporating their local environmental conditions or communities in this discussion, either through videos or uh, uh, guest speakers. Um, so the really key goal of day two is to have students start developing questions that can be tested in, in the microplastics lab. So uh, it was a great way to kind of give some content and connect it to their science learning. On day three was all about water. So on day three, we collected water samples and we used high, uh, GLOBE protocols to test those water samples in transparency, dissolved oxygen, pH, nitrates, temperature, and alkalinity. And I will say it was another opportunity to do a data analysis of uh, each group's findings on their water sample. Uh, so again, kind of continuing that, what's the story with this water? What, what do we know? What, what do we want to know still? On day four, this is the big microplastics lab. So this was super fun. Uh, and it took uh, about an hour. And so we fell short on a couple classes. We didn't get a chance. The students didn't get a chance to go through their full uh, analysis piece, but we first filtered 500 milliliters of water, which takes about 20-ish minutes, um, giving students a field guide on how to do that. And then uh, the students took their filter paper after the filtration uh, phase, and they looked at it underneath a microscope. Didn't have to be a fancy microscope, but uh, even a handheld microscope worked. Uh, and they went through this key identification to try to classify the type of micro microplastics they were looking at. So it was a great opportunity for them to really practice some scientific skills uh, in the classroom. And then finally on day, uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is a, a few pictures from the microplastics lab of students working in the classroom. And I wanted to say there's one thing that we thought was really engaging is to have students draw what they see in the uh, in their microscope. And that was a really uh, kind of key factor to keep everybody engaged. As one student looked in the microscope, another student could work on their drawing. Um, and so that was a, that was a really big factor. And we, we saw microplastics no matter where our sample came from. Uh, on day five, it was about putting it all together. Like I said, it's a storytelling phase where students could uh, use some of that data analysis from earlier uh, activities 
and they could talk about what they learned and why it was important and maybe some next steps that they could take on that. So uh, all this uh, pilot program activity would not have happened without the support and guidance and training from uh, Globe Italia and Australia and Alessandra Stewart and Sandro were just key pieces to this program and we very much appreciate their support. Uh, in doing this. So thank you very much for, for listening to this talk.